easily and run it up easily since um since 12. <laughs>this in the very beginning for those of you who've been supporting me and rocking with the campaign since the beginning I, I, I always maintain that I am an entrepreneur and that um, and that um, I never intended to be in the truck for more than three months now we know that the situation has changed uh, from the time when I started the fuel prices skyrocketed which forced me to be in the truck longer than I wanted to be but as, as you know, know fuel prices are slowly coming down so I think it's time for me to hop out this truck and get me a driver or two. Um, there are other people that I know who are out there doing it, who started around the same time that I started, who have hired drivers. And so I think, you know, now might be a good time to just go ahead and get out the truck and hire me a driver so I can focus on, so I can focus on other things that are also important to me. Um, Business-wise, I have other businesses. Y'all know that I'm a best-selling author. Um, I have a workbook, a new workbook that's out there that I need to start promoting. I need to start advocating and speaking and giving value out there. So if you're interested in that workbook, um, you can find it on Amazon as of right now. Um, it'll be in other stores soon. Uh, but right now you can find it online on Amazon if you really support the campaign. There you go. Uh, link will be in the description below. But I just, you know, I'm an entrepreneur and just being in this truck takes a lot of my time. I really can't, I don't have time to do anything else. You know, I drive for 10, 11 hours a day, then I have to sleep. Um, I really don't get much sleep. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot. And don't get me wrong, it's a fun lifestyle if that's the lifestyle that you wanna have and you, you know, have time to devote strictly to that. And the truth is I don't. I don't have a lot of time to just devote strictly to just trucking. Um, it has pretty much just changed my lifestyle drastically because I haven't had time to do literally anything else. And um, 
I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted and it's time for me to hop out the truck and get me some drivers. So, so I already have one driver that I have in mind, but um, I don't know. I guess if y'all interested, hit me up because if I get a truck, I'll put you in a truck too. Provided everything checks out, you know, with your driving history and uh, background history and that's your type of person that I could work with. If you a hustler, if you a hustler, if you a go get it, go get it like me, then I'll put you in the truck. So <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, but I already have a driver um, lined up, ready to go. Just waiting on me to get him in the truck. I'll put him in the truck soon. I'll put him in this truck. And like I said, anybody else, you know, I don't know. I don't know how many people will be interested in, in driving for me, but hey, it could be your start. So I don't know, y'all. I'm just tired. And like I said, you know, you got to have that grind mentality. And I did it. I grind for five, six months. I've been out here on the road going, get it. Uh, so can't nobody take that away from me. Like I said, I have experiences, some fun experiences, bad experiences. I have I, I pretty much experienced it all. Uh, <laughs> most of what you can experience in trucking. A lot of stuff that I didn't put online, a lot of stuff that I did. Um, and to be honest, y'all, I'd do it again, but it's just so many other things. My purpose in life is to touch people's lives and to breathe life into people. And I'm not able to do it to the extent that I want to do it while I'm driving in this truck. I mean, I know I have all of you guys, which I'm super appreciative of, of you guys. And I know a lot of you guys have reached out saying that, um, you know, I give you hope and optimism and motivation and inspiration to start your company and to do a lot of things that I'm doing that you see me doing. And that's great. And I want to continue to do that. I'm going to do it from a different angle. And that doesn't mean by any means, it doesn't mean that I'm going to stop driving the trucks. It just means I won't be in the truck as often. I can start showing y'all some of the, the other aspects of the trucking business as well. So just booking loads, um, uh, dispatching your drivers and all that good stuff like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm motherfucking tired of this shit. Now the thing is, uh, I actually have been able to spend a lot of time with family. Um, I've been able to stop the truck, stop being over the road as much and do the book local loads with Amazon for about a thousand dollars a day, sometimes 800, but for the most part, a thousand dollars a day ever since prime prime day. So, so far that's been working out. So as long as that's working out, I ain't going nowhere until I got to go back over the road. And then by then, um, by mid August, I hope to have at least two trucks rolling, two drivers rolling and me parked at home, focusing on other aspects that are also important to me. So that's where I'm at. That's why y'all haven't been seeing me. Trust me, I'm still running. Uh, <laughs> I, I have not had any issues. People have, it seems like every time I go missing, y'all want to know what's going on. And I appreciate that. Y'all really support rocking the rock, rocking with my campaign, and I appreciate that for sure. But yeah, my truck is a mess because <laughs> I've been local, so I kind of just been throwing shit around. But anyway, y'all, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all think um, it'd be a good idea to get out this truck? Y'all think uh, I'm just calling it quits too soon? Uh, I know I've been running y'all listen I've been running over the road driving 11 hours a day for the last six months there were times where I was gone from home for two months at a time y'all like not, not seeing my girl not seeing my family not seeing anybody yo so just straight up just grinding fuel prices in this area where I'm at right now in the country in Louisiana uh, is about four four fifty five which is insane um, so like I said I've been able to run Amazon locally and run it up easily since um since whoa look at that be <laughs> look, I told y'all I'm in the country god damn <laughs> shit <laughs> but anyway check this out I've been able to run it up and um I'm gonna keep running it up I've been able to, to pretty much not be able to roll since uh fourth of July weekend I've been either just chilling or running Amazon and so um I'm going to keep doing that for as long as I can. Uh, by any means, at any moment, I can hop back over the road and take off at any given time and go stack it up, um, close out the rest of the month. And then, like I said, mid, mid August, I'm going to be looking for my second driver, uh, put them in a the truck and, and keep it running. For anybody who also might be interested in leasing me their truck, if they're trying to figure out how to get out, let me know, hit me up. But, um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this B. Before I let y'all go, I wanna say something real quick about my book. Y'all know I'm a best-selling author and I got this new workbook out. Um, I had a workbook out previously and I didn't promote it, didn't do anything. So I created another one and um, I just put it out there. I'm about to start promoting it. But listen, you listen to somebody who I've been probably where you are. Um, I've been broke. I've been down and out. I've been depressed. I've been just confused, not knowing what to do. I've been just not knowing what to do, man. And um, so now where I have a wealth of knowledge and experience, and uh, I just want to share it with other people. And I put together this workbook to help people get out of situations because if people just have the proper information, listen, you guys are not where you want to be, not because you don't have the ability to do so. You just lack the information and you got to be sure that you invest in yourself in order to get to where you want to be. Listen, I started this trucking company. And once I decided to start this trucking company, I did it and I had everything lined up in a week. Okay. I had everything lined up in a week and I had the truck rolling in less than a month making money in less than a month and it wasn't because i just knew what to do which a lot of it was my own research but i invested in myself i believed in myself and i just went to go get it and a lot of what i did and what i do to start these businesses and to live the life that i want to live and live life on my terms is what i teach in this workbook so you know, again if you support the campaign make sure that you get your copy again it's on amazon i'll put the link in the description below um, but other than that y'all I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. I think that beat might be gone, but I'm still going to go. I still got to go take care of some stuff. Um, I'll holler at y'all in the next video.